Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss another DB2 SQL function, which is power. So power function is a mathematical function and we'll understand by the data like in which scenario we can use power function. Okay. So for that, I will go to the second session and here I will run one query to show you the data. Select so star from Shermit1 slash EMP where Shermit1 is my library and EMP is my table name. So here if I do shift F8, you will see there is one column named as numbers. And here for the first row, I have stored the data as two because I just want to fetch this data in my SQL RPG program. That's why I didn't make any changes in the rest of the column values. Okay. Now, if you would like to calculate the power of uh, two to the power of three for two, which means two into two into two. So for this case, we can use power function. Let's see how for that you just need to go in program and just declare one constant variable to verify the query whether it is executed successfully or not then we have one variable named as result where we will store the output and below to this we are setting the commitment control as star none so if you are uh, modifying the table in that case it is mandatory otherwise if you are just reading the data in that case you can skip these three lines okay now we are using the query which is exact sql select power this is my function name here the syntax is quite uh, like it is simple but bit different from the other functions like so far we have discussed functions where we were just passing the one argument but in case of power we need to use we need to pass two argument so here is the column name numbers and I'm passing the second argument as three so what it will do in numbers it will find the two so it will calculate the two to the power three and whatever the output it will retrieve it will be stored in this result host variable from EMP table fetch first one row only so we are just fetching the first one row only okay then below to this we are checking for the SQL state if SQL state equals to SQL state underscore valid then we are printing the result else we are printing the SQL state along with the query ended with an error message and then setting the INLR equals to star on okay so let's quickly compile this program and see the output so we are getting output as 8 which is correct because if I show you the exact column which is numbers from this table so here we have stored the out, uh, value as 2 so if we calculate the 2 to the power 3 then it will be the 8 okay so let me uh, call this program so you can see it is returning 8 which is correct all right now let's see how we can use this uh, function here so for that here you just need to pass power with a variable and comma and 3 and then hit enter so you can see it is returning 8 likewise if you would like to change it to 2 then you can see it is returning 4 okay so as per your requirement you can change the numbers and if there were any ad other values in this column so it will also calculate the value for a uh, power value for all the column value but as of now there are null so that's why it is calculating it for the only for the first okay so yeah that's how we can utilize this uh, functions uh, power function in order to calculate the power and this is mainly used for the mathematical applications so i hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech